What's going on everyone, Tech Me Out here. And in this video, I wanted to show all of you some tech that you can use in your home to make it a little bit smarter. So these are basically some items that I've been using for the past couple of weeks and I've been enjoying. So I figured I'd share it with all of you as well in the event you're interested in getting some smart home tech to build up your collection. So first up on the list is a cordless vacuum cleaner made by Eufy or Eufy. Now this is something that I personally underestimated the convenience of having. You know, I'm so used to using a vacuum with a cord and that just being the standard way in which I use a vacuum that I never really thought how life could be with a cordless vacuum. So I have to admit it was pretty nice to be able to walk around the house without having to worry about dragging a cord along with me as I went from room to room. I mean, when it comes to vacuuming, it's not like a hard task to begin with, but nonetheless, it still made it easier than it already was. Plus it's super lightweight, therefore if you have to pick it up to take it from one area of your home to the next, it's not gonna be a problem. So no, you cannot get any muscle gains with this one. Now as far as battery life, you can expect 50 minutes of vacuuming time so you don't have to worry about charging it too often, but whenever you do, the charging port can be found along the back of it. Overall, it was super easy to maneuver, allowing it to get in many places other larger vacuums may not be able to. It sufficiently grabs dirt and it has a little light built into it to kind of help out in seeing things on the floor in dim lit areas, or even for that matter in well lit areas. It works just fine on carpet as well as hardwood and it has two suction options that can be changed along the handle. So for me, I see this as a really ideal option for like smaller homes, apartments, or dorm rooms. So all of my college students out there, there's no excuse. You can get this vacuum and keep even your dorm rooms clean. And while we're speaking of clean, it's also easy to clean the dust holder on this thing. All you have to do is press the release button to remove the dust holder and then press the bottom to release the lid and then just empty the tank. Okay. Hmm, I don't know that. Yo, Alexa has been chiming in quite a bit lately. I'm like this close to unplugging her because I don't, I'm not even saying her name. And she's like, oh God. It always scares me every time because I'm not expecting her to say anything because I didn't summon her. Huh, what was I saying? She done messed up my flow. I didn't even say her name. Now coming in at item number two is another item from Eufy and this is known as their robo bag. So I just feel like when you have both of these, it creates like the optimal experience. It's not mandatory, but I like the way they work hand in hand. So with the RoboVac, this is gonna be something to kind of maintain your carpet in between time of you actually going in and vacuuming because this little RoboVac is gonna vacuum your carpet for you. So all you have to do to get it up and going is to push the button along the top. So when the LED on this is blue, it's good to go. However, if it is red, then there's something pretty much going on in terms of the battery, maybe the dust container is full, or it's just stuck. But ultimately along the side of it, you're gonna find your power button, your charging port, and it also packs a sensor so it can determine where to go and how to avoid obstacles. Now, when it came to avoiding obstacles, it did a fairly decent job. So as you can see with this water bottle, it is able to detect that it's there, but at the same time, it did kind of bump it ever so slightly. So it's not gonna topple it over, but it definitely might, you know, gently bump into it. Now, overall, I did find that it picks up things pretty well. It has a three-point cleaning system that contains side brushes, a rolling brush and suction. However, even with that, I still do recommend letting it run for a little while within your home. Like it doesn't have a defined way or pattern in which I notice that it goes. So what I found that I typically do is turn it on and let it run either to the battery dies or maybe for at least an hour, hour and a half. That's just me, I'm not saying you have to, but that way you can ensure an optimal clean using the RoboVac. Now you don't have to worry about when the battery may get low because the RoboVac can determine when its own battery is low and dock itself. So it'll find its way home in the event that it's about to die. Now, if you happen to not like the path in which it's going, it does include a remote as well, which is gonna give you a few options, such as the pattern that you want it to take, the suction power. You can also tell it to go home, which is basically gonna make it dock itself, or you can use the arrow keys to manually tell it which direction you want it to go in. But ultimately, the RoboVac in combination with the cordless vac has made a great combination for me. But in moving away from vacuums, I have another item on the list, which is known as the iDevice switch. So this particular item is gonna take your electronic devices in your home and make them smart. Therefore, you can then start controlling them with your phone. So what I did was connect my switches to my TVs because I found that I kept leaving home and forgetting to turn off my TV. So now I can ensure that it is in fact turned off by simply sliding up my control center on my phone and checking the status of things. But for those who don't care to connect a TV, imagine another piece of tech you use every day having the option to be turned on or off with this, like a coffee pot, 
a lamp, or even a curling iron. But what I really enjoyed about it was how easy it is to set up because it doesn't require a hub. All you have to do is plug it in, download the app and follow the prompts and then scan the unique code included in the box. But ultimately you have no need to enter any Wi-Fi information. Now the app does work on Android and iOS and it packs a ton of features like the option for remote access so you can monitor or control things away from home. You can also set schedules to turn on or off your electronics based on your daily routine or create a scene to turn on multiple devices with one command. Plus, you can also set triggers so that based upon your location or a state change in another product, something will then happen with the item you have plugged into the switch. Now, me personally, I like the timer section the most, and that's really because I want my TV to turn off at a specific time every night without having to set a sleep timer every time to do so. So that has saved me a little step, you know, first world problems, whatever. But it's basically saved me a step by giving it a pattern to follow every night in terms of when to turn off. Plus the switch also packs a built-in light, which you can adjust to be pretty much any color, or you can turn it off altogether if you don't want it. So these are just a few items in which I've you know, been checking out and enjoying. So I'm gonna be exploring some more smart home tech accessories. And if you have some ideas of things that you might wanna see me take a look at, drop them down below in the comments section. But aside from that, definitely hit the subscribe button so you can stay tuned when I drop another video like this or another video period. So I have teamed up with Eufy to offer the opportunity for at least one of you out there to get your hands on a Coralist vacuum. So if you are interested in winning one, be sure to follow the link down below in the description box. It's gonna give you all the details on how to enter the giveaway. What I'm gonna do is two weeks from today, I'm gonna randomly choose a winner. I'm gonna announce the winner down below in the comment section of this video as well as on my Twitter. So definitely follow me up there. T-E-C-H-M-E-0-U-T is my Twitter handle and pretty much my handle on Instagram and Snapchat as well. So shameless plug. And as always, thanks for taking the time out to let me tech you out.